Yovelim Jubilees 50. And after this Torah, I made known to you, rather, I made known to you the days of the Shabbatot in the desert of Sinai, which is between Elim and Sinai. And I told you of the Shabbatot of the land on Mount Sinai, and I told you of the Jubilee years in the Shabbatot of years. But the year thereof have I not told you till ye enter the land which ye are to possess. And the land also shall guard its Shabbatot while they dwell upon it, and they shall know the Jubilee year. Wherefore I have ordained for you the year weeks and the years and the Jubilees. There are 49 Jubilees from the days of Adam until this day, and one week and two years. And there are yet 40 years to come for learning the commandments of Yahuwah until they pass over into the land of Canaan, crossing the Yardan to the west. And the Jubilees shall pass by until Yashadael is cleansed from all guilt of fornication and uncleanness and pollution and sin and error and dwells with confidence in all the land, and there shall be no more a Satan or any evil one, and the land shall be clean from that time forevermore. And behold, the commandment regarding the Shabbatot, I have written them down for you, and all the judgments of its Torah. Six days shall you labor, but on the seventh day is the Shabbat, of the Yahuwah, rather, is the Shabbat of Yahuwah Elohechem. In it ye shall do no manner of work, ye and your sons, and your men servants, and your maid servants, and all your cattle, and the sojourner also who is with you. And the man that does any work on it shall die. Whosoever desecrates that day, whosoever lies with his woman, or whosoever says he will do something on it, that he will set out on a journey thereon in regard to any building or selling, and whosoever draws water thereon, which he has not prepared for himself on the sixth day, and whosoever takes up any burden to carry it out of his tent or out of his house shall die. Ye shall do no work whatsoever on the Shabbat, save that ye have prepared for yourselves on the sixth day, so as to eat and drink and rest and guard the Shabbat from all work on that day, and to be blessed, rather, and to bless Yahuwah Eloheikem, who has given you a day of feast and a holy day, and a day of the holy kingdom for all. Yashara El is this day among their days forever. For great is the honor which Yahuwah has given to Yashara El that they should eat and drink and be satisfied on this feast day and rest thereon from all labor which, which belongs to the labor of the children of men, save burning frankincense and bringing oblations and sacrifices before Yahuwah for days and for Shabbatot. This work alone shall be done on the Shabbat in the sanctuary of Yahuwah Eloheikem, that they may atone for Yashara El with sacrifice continually from day to day for a memorial well-pleasing before Yahuwah, and that he may receive them always from day to day, according as you have been commanded. And every man who does any work thereon, or goes a journey, or tills his farm, whether in his house or any other place, 
And whosoever lights a fire, or rides on any beast, or travels by ship on the sea, and whosoever strikes or kills anything, or slaughters a beast or a bird, or whosoever catches an animal, or a bird, or a fish, or whosoever fasts, or makes war on the Shabbatot. The man who does any of these things on the Shabbat shall die, so that the children of Yashadael shall observe the Shabbatot according to the commandments regarding the Shabbatot of the land, as it is written in the tablets, which he gave into my hand, that I should write out for you the Torah of the seasons and the seasons according to the division of their days. Herewith is completed the account of the division of days.